Welcome at this third video of lesson 1 Grand MA on PC software. In this tutorial I will show you how to patch your moving lights and how to uh, place them in your 3D environment. Let's have a look at our window uh, placement. I always make this main window of the Grand MA 2 software a little bit smaller so you can click between these two windows. When you point at this you see your 3D environment and when you point here you will see your grand main layout. I, I think it's a good way to work with both programs in one window. When we are going to patch lights we are going to set up patch and fixture schedule. There's another option to patch only and that's only for small things if you want to change the name of the others of the picture but this one is more enhanced when you enter this menu it will ask if you want to make a layer you have to make a layer and you can give it a name I name it moving lights and then you can make select the fixture type from library and I'm looking for a fairy light 2500 a feed, uh, 25 and here it is if you have a new picture or not common picture and you have it loaded on your USB disk and you can choose it from this drop down menu. It's possible that you have a self made personality and want to load it on an external desk then you can find it here. Okay you can see your personality here. You can check it with a manual if you want to be sure. I select it and I say import. You can change the name so I say uh, support this number will change when you patch more of them so next one will be 2, 3 how much do I want to patch? I choose 8 you have option fixture ID and channel ID uh, with Grand MA2 it's possible to give your channels uh, the same numbers as your fixtures you can also only use fixture ID or only use channel ID but I think it's very uh, useful to use them both so all your moving lights have a fixture ID and all your channels have a channel ID but I never use the same numbers I always have different numbers but if you want to select fixtures you have to highlight this one in yellow and if you want to press channels, you will make this one yellow. So now if I press only one at full, it will take channel one. So fixture one will not be highlighted only if I select first fixture and then one at full. But that, that's for later on. Here you can choose your start address. Let's say I want it at universe one, but channel one is 101. And you say apply. Here you see it's patched from 101. If you exit this window, uh, it will save it. You need to press yes, of course. And now we will have a look at our visualizer. And you see there are a few lights. On the floor, it automatically, automatically puts them on the floor. Okay, and when we have patched these lights, uh, you want to give them a good place in your 3D environment. There are three we three ways to do that. One way is in inside of MA 3D. You can select them all. Right click on this button. And 
when you press the left mouse button on this arrow you get a line mode and then you can take your scroll wheel and align it and then you will stretch them out and you uh, so that is one option you just press it so but again you will select all your spots left click on the arrow and then you get the align option window with your scroll wheel of your mouse you can say align of the forward option and then you see it will, will move them um, with a fan option okay another option is get your window with the list in your MA3D environment let's check where it is I guess this one here you can edit all the values so if I select um, the spot I said ok you go to zero enter and that's my plane that's always good to reset it at zero because I did make a mistake uh, you can not select all these ones or say ok you go to zero you go to zero, you go to zero, you go to one, two, three, four, five, and six. And when I look, you see it's changed. But, is it true what I'm saying? It is changed. So another option is another option is to uh, go to your Grand MA uh, on PC software. There you have um, to make a window. What's called Stage View. Just press it somewhere. Go to Other and take a Stage. At this window, you can select them all. And if you go to setup, you can change the position of the lights, like you see this. This is the X, S. You can also change them on the I, OS, or the Z. It's up and down. It's also possible to rotate it. Then you need to change the position menu to rotation. But you need to play around with it yourself but uh, there's only one thing I want to show you a line you need to take a line and press three times so you stretch out the values and then you take the position X and you see it's stretched out then you put them in the air Whoa. that's this one like a good high and then you only have to rotate them on one of the axes. You can also say, okay, 180. Hoppa. Now let's have a look what happens in Grand MA 3D. They're all 